Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you my phone collection. Now where did I get this? You could probably already tell. The trash can, that's right. I got this empty Fuji film box. We'll start off with the boring stuff and work our way into it. This is not clickbait. I found all of this in a trash can, which I of course not be telling you where this is at. This is a Texas Instruments uh, TI series calculator uh, disc, which I actually have that calculator. I don't have the disc. There we go. We're already making scores. Got uh, empty trash. I did not get the camera, of course. Got some um, video stickers for, uh, I guess, tapes, like the old tapes for your old film cameras, an old SanDisk manual for who knows, maybe a card or something, probably an SD card, some more trash, but moving on from that, you can already tell I got something really cool, this is basically, this, no joke, my, my dream phone is the S8 still, uh, of course S10 is really cool, but it's definitely the S8, uh, got an S7 Edge from the trash, but we'll get there. There's the S7 Edge, which is fully functional. I'll get back to that. I got two S10 Plus boxes. Move on. Uh, so, I'll show you what's inside if they open. So, um, the one was flipped open, so the stuff was just kind of jammed down inside. Like the box was like this in the one. So like this, this, here's this one. This thing was all just like torn up and laying in there like that, in the trash bag. Um, I just grabbed it, not thinking, I just jammed it in there because, you know, I'm trying to hurry up. Neighbors are staring at me. I mean, what do you expect? You really think I'm going to leave this behind? I see phone boxes. What do you think I'm going to do? Um, but yeah. I have a genuine Samsung USB-C to USB adapter, which, I don't know, maybe I can even hook this up to the Nintendo Switch. I might try that. I might even squeeze in there. This is just a cheap, generic power brick. Not sure what it's from. It's got a small crack in it. I think that's whenever I dropped it on my way back on my bike with the bag. Uh, this thing fell out. Thankfully, not that. Or the boxes, just some old garbage underpowered, like 0.4 amps or something charger. Um, but yeah, we got the little USB adapter. That's really nice. So we'll just uh, move that over there. Kind of cram everything back down in here. We'll move on. Or I thought I was covering the microphone. Okay, not. So now we'll move on to our next. Next box of junk. It's not closing up on me. The box is not gonna close. In the world. Okay. So it's a 128 gigabyte model. I thought I showed the stuff. I probably already did show the IMEIs and stuff. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's a 128 gig phone. With that side. So this is the stuff where you look through there. This is the next one. Um, this was all torn up. It's missing the uh, SIM card ejector tray. This had a little AT&T, uh, you know, the SIM card came in this. But I moved that uh, into this box. The SIM card was still in the phone, the AT&T card. I just pulled it out, and uh, more than likely I'm going to put it back in the phone, just so it, you know, doesn't bother me nonstop about saying no SIM. Uh, or I'm going to try to call my uh, service provider, TrackPhone Wireless, and uh, see if that's compatible. My iPhone SE fried, so right now my main phone is an iPhone 6 Plus I got from my uh, uncle for free. He's upgrading to an 8. Anyway, uh, this is not the original USB-C cord. This is just that cheapy, uh, you saw that USB adapter in the other box here. 
that uh, this cable is for it. I don't, I'm not sure what it hooked up to or anything, and I thought, oh, maybe it's the Texas Instruments calculator thing. I was like, no, it's way too cheap and crappy. And uh, that's a micro USB, not the right type. It is a micro USB. It almost looks like a USB-C. It's not. It's a micro USB. Anyway, this one I did not get the uh, little thing. I wish I had headphones. Uh, you really can't, really can't wish for much more than what I got already. And uh, the one box was stuffed with trash, like uh, old receipts and stuff. Oh yeah, the, the original receipt, which I will take out off camera real quick. Um, the original receipt is in there. This one, I'm going to have to open up real quick off camera because, well, number one, it's kind of hard to get it open. And also, this thing has uh, uh, all the papers on it and stuff. And the other S7 Edge box has uh, the original uh, receipt, which I might give you a quick glance at it. They actually, on the receipt, it says they returned a Note 7. The fi you know, the Samsung phone that catches on fire. Oh, okay, never mind. It's in here, it's in the bottom. It can wait. It's a, uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 box, and uh, on the very back, which I would show, but it has all the IMEI and stuff, which you probably already saw it, but to me it's, oh well, I just want to be safe and sorry. Um, uh, there's a, actually some uh, plastic on there, not plastic, there's like a happy birthday, or you know, whatever. Basically, uh, birthday wrap, paper, whatever you call it. So, it was a gift to somebody, I would assume. I mean, why else would that be on there? There's a sticker for the phone they peeled off. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Pull out all these receipts and notes of like, there's also a to-do list in here. To do this, to do that. Anyway, I move that over there. Um, down inside here, one of the cool things I did find, the S10 is, uh, and one of the S10 boxes are missing that. SIM card rejector, this one has it. So, I found it in this not genuine, but AT&T, genuine AT&T box. I found a uh, SIM card rejector tray. Maybe that did, maybe it does belong with that. I doubt it, though. It probably came in here. Uh, I, did, I got no cables. I don't know what this is. Just got some sort of little pin. Maybe a battery remover of some sort, or a fuse remover. I'm not sure. I'll put all this stuff back together later. Um, moving on. So, right here, this is my uh, my, my new phone. Well, I kind of have like a, a summer phone, which is kind of stupid sounding. So, in the uh, school year, I use a, uh, well, I used to use my iPhone SE. Well, that's unfortunate, it's dead. But anyway, now it will be an iPhone 6 Plus, which is okay. It's 128 gig. I'm never going to use that. 128 gig ones. This is a 32 because it's the U.S. model. I'm talking about my iPhone. Anyway, uh, so I used to use S5 in the summer. Well, at least last year I did. Before that, I used my... Actually, I don't think I used any last year. <laughs> Not the year before that, rather. Anyway, this is my S7 Edge. I'm going to be using this throughout the summer and probably next year as well. This beautiful phone. You can already see the receipt kind of showing through there. It's laying in there. This beautiful semi-cracked. It's got a little scratch there, cracked there. Nothing in the, in the center, though. It has screen burn because it's an AMOLED display. It's a nice quad-core, I believe, 4 gigs of RAM. Look at that. I think I'm going to cover up the IMEI. Wow. There are no cracks in the back glass. I did take the back glass off. I'm going to have to buy a new battery. The back, the bat. Okay, so here are the things that are wrong. Of course, as you know, normal screen burn has a cracked front glass. Um, it was in a case you could tell because uh, off camera you can see the, uh, there's a little kind of a box around the camera and stuff. You know, you can tell there was a case on it, which makes sense. It's super clean on the edges. Anyway. Uh, I still cannot believe I'm actually holding 
my dream phone. This is basically my dream phone. It was the S8. Galaxy S7 Edge is extremely close, except honestly, I probably would have wanted this more. It has a home button. So, this is it. 30%. Touch ID works. Everything works except sometimes if you kind of lightly push like right around here, like in the battery area, it will uh, turn off or sometimes it will just randomly turn off and it gets kind of warm. I'll have to buy a new battery, which good news, it's probably around 10 bucks, I believe, from what I looked up. But yeah, I am, wow. I'm amazed. Some people are just so wasteful. This is not clickbait. I, I don't have any money. I found this in the trash. All this. Um, they probably wouldn't accept it and you know give money back because of the fact that the uh, AMOLED is probably really expensive. So that's probably why they didn't trade it. Or they purchased the phone and you know it's paid off and everything, so it just never bothered and it just sat in the drawer or something. Thankfully, this makes no sense. They had the original box. I am dumbfounded. Here, you could have at least sold it on eBay or maybe even then and taken it to Target instead of just putting it in the trash and being wasteful, but of course I'm happy. Anyway, uh, let's set this down so I don't show their stuff. Of course, we can show that. It's just a little tray. Here, can I show that receipt? I'm going to cover up the uh, address even though it's, there's a name. Okay, let's cover all this up. I lay the phone down and cover up their info. Gotta be super careful. Cover up the phone box just so no info gets out. AT&T, that is the original receipt. It's about to show the bottom of it there. It's got some codes. No, thank you. Anyway, that is the original receipt. So I have that. I have the phone. The box. Um, I do have the SIM card, as I already said. Um, I don't want to show this on camera. You know, it's got numbers on it and everything. Here, it's covered up. There we go. Cover up those. I'll just barely give you a glimpse. So, this came from the S10 Plus box. I put the uh, SIM card in there, it's there. Let's see if I can, there you go, you can see it. I just kind of jammed it in place. Um, anyway, now you can see down in this box here, what's going on, we got our uh, SIM card ejector. I checked, I, I even looked online. It has all of its original booklets, uh, starting guide, got the original SIM card ejector. So set that aside. Down in the bottom, we did not have the uh, earbud case. No earbuds. Uh, this thing is still sealed, that USB thing there. I nicely wrapped up the cable. The cable is laying in the trash. I would be using that, but unfortunately, it's all chewed up and everything down there at the bottom. As you can see it's all gross and chewed and it's just a fire hazard. But you know, it came with the phone more than likely, or at least it's a genuine Samsung cable. So I just wrapped it up in there. Surprisingly, since the wrap is still in there, I should have at least had that. Anyway, I, I should not be complaining. I got a free Galaxy S7. I still don't get some people, man. Anyway, that, put that back down in there. Actually, here. I'll do that in my own time. You guys can just enjoy what I'm doing. It's the 32 gigabyte. Silver titanium, which honestly I would have gotten that or the black, not the gold. Um, here, unlock it. Touch ID. There we go. Oops, my dog. Um, I completely factory reset it. Uh, unfortunately, they do actually have a Samsung a Samsung account. The owner did, uh, so the phone was locked. Uh, not on the uh, thing. You could get into it, just swipe to unlock. You know, no password, but. Uh, there was a password from their Samsung account, so I could not, you know, it's kind of like I iCloud on your iPhone. So you cannot unlock it. But thankfully, there's a way. You know, you uh, hold vol uh, power, or is it vol? I don't know, I forgot. I believe it's volume up. 
or maybe it's volume down. I forgot already. But it's either volume up or volume down. You hold that with the power button and the home button, and then that will take you to the uh, menu or the uh, you know main menu. I should have shown it the other way, but it had photos of them on it, so I just figured I'd be nice and not show them. So it is fully functional. I am in love with this phone, man. I'm kidding. But I, I do like this phone. It's it's honestly amazing. Hey, look, it has a headphone jack. <laughs> uh, 2016. It is a sweet phone. I, I don't understand why you throw this in trash. Uh, I, I'm happy with it. But, anyway. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.